Meanwhile, in Florida, Tampa International Airport is closed as the southern state prepares for a Dahlia. Jim, still a tropical storm, or is this thing a hurricane now? Yes, it became a hurricane overnight. Adalia is a category one hurricane with winds of 75 to 85 miles per hour, but it's strengthening. And as it moves northeastward in the next 24 hours across the very warm waters of the eastern Gulf of Mexico, it's going to become a major hurricane. By the time it makes landfall, probably tomorrow sometime, just north of Tampa on the big band of the Gulf Coast of the Florida coastline. So Idalia is a major storm or will be a major storm rolling through northern Florida tomorrow and Thursday up into the southeastern United States and affecting the entire southeast on through the end of the week. Meanwhile, Hurricane Franklin, you can just see in the north in the upper corner of the uh, screen here is a major hurricane too. The difference is it's offshore, but it's going to be affecting much of the eastern seaboard with rip currents and high surf. So Dahlia is going to be a weather maker today. Meanwhile, clear skies across the valley this morning with a big bright full super moon out there. At least it will be completely full by tomorrow night. The temperatures have stayed very mild overnight in the 70s and at 75 degrees right now in Boise and quite breezy southeast winds 10 to 20 miles per hour, sometimes a little stronger than that. And in the upper 60s to low 70s in the valley, although it's 75 in Boise, and the mid to upper 60s in the Magic Valley, 40s in the mountain areas, and a red flag warning, a fire weather warning from Owyhee County eastward to the Magic Valley for that higher fire danger because of the hot, dry, and gusty winds that'll be occurring today. Ahead of a cold front, we have wind watches and advisories in the Columbia Gorge, ahead of a cold front that is now moving over the Cascades. Behind it, a low pressure system with some very cool air not much moisture. There is some shower activity going on in Washington state and might be along that front in northern Oregon as it moves on eastward, reaching eastern Oregon late this afternoon. Breezy, hot conditions ahead of it. More hours of hot weather for the Magic Valley means temperatures will be higher today than yesterday. For the Treasure Valley, a little lower than yesterday's 99 degrees. That front reaching us by late afternoon or early evening. And when it comes through, we'll bring in a band of smoke from wildfires that that front has picked up from Western Oregon and Northern California. So turning smoky and windy with that front when it comes through this evening. But overnight, the wind switch to the northwest and blow the smoke onto the east out of the area and we start cooling down. In fact, our air quality will be in the yellow category today because of that smoke. But we are looking at uh, better conditions as we go in the next couple of days. Very quickly, our forecast is calling for hot conditions in the Magic Valley in the mid 90s. For the Treasure Valley, 94 in Boise, turning windy later this afternoon with some areas of smoke clearing up later tonight, but staying breezy through the night and into tomorrow with a high of 77 on Wednesday. That's more like June. Low 80s Thursday and Friday. Those morning temperatures in the low to mid 50s across the valley. Mountain areas will be seeing some frosty conditions with highs in the 60s. And by Labor Day weekend, a chance of some showers, mainly in the mountains, but we cool off again to the mid to upper 70s through Labor Day.